All right, today we're gonna to tune this truck. It's uh, just a 1500 GMC, nothing crazy. Uh, it has a uh, 6.2 swap in it with a cam, a little bit more compression. It is a uh, Silver Lake uh, sand toy, so check it out. Alright, so yeah, this is a 6.2. It's got a, uh, I believe, a BTR stage 4 camshaft in it. Uh, some 706 cylinder heads that have been cut a bit to add some compression. Uh, I believe it's 12.7 to 1, something like that. Um, yeah, still on 93 octane. Uh, talking about possibly putting it on E85, depending on how stuff looks today, if we think that that'll be worth the the change being that it's a Silver Lake toy if you're not familiar Silver Lake is uh, uh, our local uh, sand sand dune play area um, so you know sand dune stuff uh, climbing hills you're often uh, heavy load and low airflow so some cooling advantages from E85 is would be the I think the larger benefit over a horsepower change but we won't know that until uh, we get in there again with a little bit higher static this thing has than normal there's probably a little bit more advantage to running an ethanol based fuel um than there typically is so we're gonna see how it goes but i'm gonna jump into this thing make some hits i had actually tuned this truck for a previous owner uh, when it still had a 5.3 in it so we'll uh see what it makes with the with the 6.2 and yeah i'm gonna make some hits and see what happens All right, that was the second hit. The first hit I made, it was a little rich. It was like 11.7. Uh, that's just 12.2, 12.3 AFR. So right about where I want it. Um, it made 433 foot pounds of torque, 427 horsepower. I'm gonna put two degrees in it and uh, see what it picks up. Uh, the graph looks pretty close. I'm not sure it's gonna help, um, but uh, let's put two degrees in it and see what happens. All right, so here's the graph. Uh, I put those two degrees in it. It didn't like it, so I pulled them back out. So this thing's got uh, 25 degrees at 6,200, but the ramp's pretty cautious. So it's only got like 18 degrees at uh, 35. So those are the final numbers, 453 foot-pounds of torque, 426 horsepower. I would say that the torque number is a little exaggerated uh, just because of the way I rolled into the throttle there. It might probably hit the converter a little hard, so. Uh, but still, I mean, even even out here in the middle, where that that torque peak is there, uh, it's 430 foot pounds of torque there. So even there, it did good. Um, so yeah, he'll be stoked. His goal was to make 400 wheel. Uh, so yeah, we've definitely done that. Uh, good running, you know, cam 6.2 again. I think this thing has a BTR stage four in it with a 706 head. 
Uh, he, said, he cut the block, I think he said he cut the block 10 and the head's 25 to get the compression up to 12.7. Uh, still on 93 octane. The heads do have a larger valve in it. He told me what valve size it is, but I do not remember off the top of my head. Other than that, the combo's pretty uh, pretty basic. I mean, really other than the, the cylinder head work. It's still got a truck intake manifold on it. Um, that kind of thing, so. And still stock, stock air box even, so. But yeah, definitely a good number. We're happy with that. I'm gonna get this thing unstrapped and off of here and give this guy a call. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.